Good afternoon, all founders. Welcome to joining us today. Um, I'm so happy to have chance to uh, uh, kickstart uh, my first lecture. Today we are going to cover a couple important concepts uh, to evaluate your business and get ready for fundraising. And uh, my name is Alan Lam, and um, managing partner and CTO of Graffiti Capital Partners. Okay, section number four, which is the last section of today. I would like to share with you about business model canvas, okay? And um, I got a very useful reference from Alex, um, who is a broker, and he teach a lot for the business uh, model canvas. And I just took his notes and acknowledge him and um, so that Everybody, one day you feel good, uh, learn from him, and then say thank you to him, it's okay, okay? <laughs> and uh, so, what is the business canvas? The canvas include nine important elements, okay? Including, um, actually there's, uh, uh, I'm not sure, do you know who is Professor Andrew Chen, Chen Jifei Gao Zhao? So, he has the uh, left hand, uh, right hand uh, circle rule uh, he developed. And this one is uh, a little bit similar, okay? So um, in the middle of the canvas is the value proposition. Your company must have product or service to provide value, otherwise no one will pay you, right? That is your value, the value proposition fill in, in the middle, okay? And then your right-hand side, okay, is customer. What does that mean? Demand side, okay? They, they have demand, okay? They want, they need your product and services, okay? So in the most right-hand side is the customer segment. Who are they? Okay. You need to understand who are they. And then in the middle is how they link up with you, with you or how you link up with them. Okay. Customer relationship. If you understand how you link up with them, you know how to strengthen uh, the relationship or increase the stickiness or how to gain more customer, okay? And then is the channel. You need to find more channel to reach out those target customer, okay? So that's why the value proposition and the customer actually in between, one side is the relationship, bottom is the channel, okay? They are, they are in parallel, they are together, okay? So this is the demand side, okay? Through this exercise, at the bottom, the revenue stream. How can you charge them? Okay? You know where a uh, huade. You know how to reach out, how, how to reach them. You know how to get the relationship, let them pay you. And then you know how to gain the revenue. That is the right hand side, is the demand circle. Okay? Is that clear? All right, left hand side is the supply side. It's quite rare that single company can do everything to supply the solution, okay? So that is more of a supply side partnership. So in the, right, in the left hand side, most left, is the key partners, okay? And later on, I have a two examples for you, okay? So you need to find the key partners or suppliers to help you, okay? And then again, in the middle is what kind of activities that partner or supplier to support your business, okay? And then what kind of resources you need to pay back or you need to, you know, exchange, okay? And finally, what is the cost structure? How they charge you, okay? Supply and demand come up with 
a circle to support your business. Okay? So, is that clear? Okay? So, I don't want to repeat the definition I just explained, but uh, if in case you want to review, you can go through my notes. I would like to give you a um, more um, uh, important example. Here, I would like to highlight how to fill in the business model canvas. Okay? How to fill in. For sure, you may have more than one product or more than one surface. Okay? Um, and then you need to write down in the middle. And maybe your product will reach out more than one type of customer. Okay? More than one type or many types. Okay? And then you may have more than one channel or you may want to have multiple scheme or multiple uh, relationship with them. So you can list out. Okay? And also the uh, revenue stream or the business model Probably you may have a different kind of model. Subscription base, one-off sale, or different kind of um, business model. Okay, freemium first, and then charge by um, selling items, something like that. Okay, and similarly for the key partners and also um, the calls and all these similar. Okay, so. Um, I put the color uh, to show you, okay? In the middle is the offering. It's your company's offer to the customer. And then the, the red color in the middle is offering. The white color is the customer, the demand side. The left-hand side is the supply side, infrastructure, um, who can support your business, okay? So, and there are possibility to have uh, more than one um, segment uh, for your value proposition, like I just explained. And the most important thing is that when you fill in this form, you should also fill in the arrow. You know the flow, okay? You know the flow, which type of customer um, that you use different type of the uh, business model charging mechanism, different channels. So the arrow is the key. Many people just download the business model canvas, fill in the form, and then finish. But actually, they are incomplete, OK? You need to evaluate your business in detail, including this flow, so that you know your position, OK? And similarly, uh, for the... Um, Revenue stream, the business model, you also need to have uh, that kind of flow. After this exercise, after this exercise, you will be more, um, how to say, you will be more um, clear about your business plan. When you do this, actually quick enough, just fill in the form and, and basically here, The online template is here. Click and download, print it out, or you just fill in in a, in a computer, then you can have a very good review and understanding about your business already, which is very helpful for you to draft your pitching deck and business plan. Is that okay? All right. So here, I would like to give you um, some example. Example A is about a, a startup called Enable Chris. Okay, so this project, in fact, is a service provider who provide some lightweight Chris application for the company who would like to hire people. Okay, so um, here is more for engineer. Okay technical talent, okay? So they try to use this business model canvas to evaluate their business. So Alex come up with this example, okay? So for the value proposition, okay? They 
would like to make better hires, okay, so that provide this value to HR department. The HR department of a company, they pretty much uh, don't understand technical content. They don't understand the background of uh, the um, uh, the applicants. So they would like to provide better hires and enable HR decrease the uh, recruiting time, create better job. So this is more um, value added to um, two group of people, okay? One group of people is for the company HR department, okay? Another group of people are the um, applicants, okay? Engineers, okay? So immediately when you see this filtered business model canvas, you know what they're doing. You know what is their target. They are target, um, for example, HR manager or uh, some job candidate, employees, and, um, and also they will um, also support uh, the IT company, uh, something like that. Okay, you know their customer uh, segment, okay? And they would like to through different kinds of channel like the sales rep or Google AdWords, LinkedIn, website, blah, blah, blah. They, you know their methodology, how to reach their potential customer, okay? And how to get the relationship of uh, basically they will have the delegated person service and also the um, through the web uh, self-help uh, and chatbot so that uh, people can get relationship with them. It's kind of customer recruitment thing, okay? And but this is only for the um, demand side. And they plan to use subscription model and also with the referral incentive scheme to get um, uh, those kind of, uh, or advertisement to get the revenue, okay? So this is about the, uh, how they make money, who pay for it, and but, you need to have your product. You need to have a better um, um, a content uh, for the quiz question and for the system, things like that. So they need to have some partner. First partner is the LMS, the uh, learning uh, management system uh, or some consultancy so that uh, make an IT system with uh, the content, the quiz content. So that, um, that's why uh, the key activities is the food RMS to get uh, those quiz content. And also uh, with the market trend, you know uh, which um, uh, questions is more related or the current trend for, for those um, uh, technology. So all these uh, are the key activities and the resources, quiz, quiz bank, and also the user base, blah, blah, blah and uh, they need to pay for the development for the quiz app and also need to pay for sales promotion and also uh, post sales support. Just a simple A4 page table, you exactly understand what they are doing. Is that useful? Okay, so try to download it, fill in for your company and then you will have better understanding of your business, okay? And also, after you have the first job, talk to your partners, talk to your employees. Let everybody understand. Then your team will fully engage. And also, they fully understand the business. What are we doing? And okay, maybe your colleagues, your staff will give you some feedback. Hey, boss, why don't we do this? Why don't we do that? It's very good platform for you to communicate with your staff, with your partner, with your investor, okay? This is uh, one example, okay? The second example is enterprise, okay? It's, um, it's uh, called HVAC in a hurry, okay? Uh, HVAC is like the uh, aircon heating system, more uh, industrial um, system. So they are mid-sized enterprise, still useful to them. 
okay? Although the business is stable, okay? Earning money, big scale, but when they try to do this business model canvas, will help them, will help their management more understand about their current status. And from time to time, if you do this, maybe at the very beginning you, you personally do, and then from time to time, maybe in the yearly review, ask your colleagues also do again, try to um, uh, schedule a staff training section, let everybody do this exercise and talk and sometimes we'll come up with new initiative, okay? So this one is for the HVAC company, middle size. And so they would like to provide a system, increase uh, the, com uh, uh, um, the comfortability to let uh, the people inside the building, inside the room feel more comfortable. And also, because they have some technology to control the um, air conditioning or heating so that uh, they have uh, the predictable budgeting or um, because of the stability of the system, they can provide the worry fee operation, things like that. They have a different kind of value proposition. Okay? And the customer side, uh, medium, landlord or small business user, and then the key partner is the system vendor. So, and they show, uh, again, it's the demand circle and supply circle and try to do a matching, okay? Based on that, what is the missing? Missing the arrow, okay? Miss the flow. So, if you are going to do the exercise for yourself, please try to add the arrow Maybe we go back to the, uh, you know, university life. Use different side pen, color pen to make it beautiful, or even the digital, no problem. Okay, and then present it to your staff, to your team. Let's kickstart a internal discussion. Okay, then you can finalize a business model canvas which you are comfortable with then you can make use of this to prepare the investment deck, business plan, okay? Business plan and investment deck is two, totally two different things, okay? And if you don't need investment, I would also suggest you to develop a business plan for your own three-year business plan with a blueprint or with a direction clearly defined with different milestones. And then this will be a very useful um, document for you to run your business, okay? This is a first step. The business model canvas is first step. It can easily convert, become the business plan. Okay, here is my name card. I will not stop this screen and you guys please feel free to take. And this is my personal mobile, okay? And um, uh, you know, people send me an email. Frankly, I will not check. <laughs> I have a mean office to check, handle all my meetings, schedule, um, all the email they will read. But this number, this WhatsApp is the only thing I will handle in person. Okay, I give you my best um, a communication channel. So um, that's the end of today. And I hope you guys enjoy and uh, please feel free to mingle. Thank you. Thank you.